Greg? Hello. <laughs> the I know, that's the point. <laughs> so, um, I recently came out to my mom. Yeah, thank you. It's been a nice crowd. And by reason I mean, like, right now, mom, I'm gay. Just gonna let you know that right now. I'm not gonna defend this shirt. Um, <laughs> so, um, and, and honestly, like, you know, being, being gay is a little hard because, like, especially in L.A., Oh my gosh, there are so many beautiful women here tonight. You know, and you, you make it really hard to be gay. You know what I mean? And occasionally I get like kind of confused, you know, because I like, I like this girl, she's really pretty, I talk to her, she's really cool, but she works at Hot Dog on a Stick. And I just don't know if I like, you know, her or I really like the way she works. You know what I mean? And I feel like with girls, there's like, there's not a lot of mystery to them. Like, I can tell whether or not a girl is like, really slutty or like, you know, really stupid. Sometimes just by hearing her name. Like, <laughs> like sometimes I'll, I'll hear a name, like, I'm sure you've heard this, like, she's really slutty. She's like, my name is Cindy, with an S. <laughs> and then there's she's really stupid, if she'd be like, my name is Cindy, with a six. Like, and she's absolutely dumb. And like, that to me is just really obvious. <laughs> You know, I didn't. I didn't choose to be gay. Just like I didn't choose to be like the whitest black person on earth. <laughs> and it's not. It's not my choice. You know. It's not my fault that God made me fabulous, not ferocious. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you guys are loud. That's sweet. Thank you. Um, but you know, like, and that's. It's not my fault. Like, I lived with my mom, you know, in Gilroy, where they make white people, and, like, I, I lived there, and, you know, I only, I grew up with her, so I didn't know how to be, you know, some black man. But I could be a black woman. I'm gonna tell you that right now, I could be a black woman. And now, I'm gonna let you in a little inside secret about black women. This is what I learned about black women. You see, you know when black women get mad, they're like, oh, hell no, you ain't tell Tanisha that, you know what I mean? So, this, this finger, doing all this, this means something, okay? I didn't know this, but this is a volume finger, okay? Whenever she raises her damn voice, she will raise this finger. And it's really scary when she gets up here. So, so uh, I'll, I'll show you. So, only when they get mad, when black women get angry, and nothing makes my mom more mad than a messy kitchen, okay? To her, that's a no-no. No, okay, so for her, that's a mm-mm. So sometimes I'll forget and she'll just walk in. She'll just be like, oh, uh uh. <laughs> oh, uh uh. <laughs> oh, hell no! Gregory, <laughs> who left these cups on my table? I said, who left these cups on my table? <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's pretty black. Um, oh, thank God you guys like that joke. Okay, because, oh God, two shows, I'm relatively new, like this will be my eighth time on stage, and two, thank you. Oh my God, I like the celebrity. Um, like, two shows ago, right, so I'm, I did that joke, and then at the end of the show, this um, African-American woman approached me, that's why I'm looking for any, I don't, <laughs> I'm really scared. Um, this African American woman approached me, right? And I'm like, oh yes, a black connection. Like she's gonna, she's gonna be, she's gonna congratulate me on the accuracy of my impersonation of black race, you know? Mm mm. Mm mm. And uh, you know, I going into this, I'm thinking, okay, I gotta think about how I can be black. But I'm not black by any means. Like not even a little bit. Like the, the the typical black things that people do. I'm sorry. Okay, my skin color is black, but I'm not like black. You know what I mean? So the typical things black people do is like, they say hi to each other on the street. You know, they just be like, hey, yo, what up, bro? And I don't really know what to do, so I'm just like, hey, hi, how are you? And like, oh my gosh, I just quick tidbit, if I were like more black, I think driving would be a lot more fun because have you ever driven next to like a really black person? Oh my God, frightening, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> They are listening to some fierce ass ghetto music, you know what I mean? Like, oh my god. And, and usually I can't look any less black at the time. Like I'm in my light blue PT Cruiser, matching shirt and shoes of course, and I'm like, I'm listening to like Teenage Dream or Call Me Maybe. Anybody like that song? 
No men are gonna agree. Don't even pretend like there's no guy, whatever. Um, so, I just, uh, but don't worry, everything's fine. You know, usually I have my windows rolled up. I have my emergency black people playlist on my iPod, okay? And my doors are locked, of course. <laughs> you know? So, so this, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> So this, uh, this black lady comes up to me, and I'm thinking, like, you know, optimist, I'm like, yeah, black women! And then she comes up to me, and she pulls out the finger, and that's when I know, uh-uh. Oh, no, please don't. So she pulls me in this corner, and all my friends are like, hey, great show! I'm like, oh my god, save me! And so she just gets the, the, the meanest. I really hope she's not here. She's like, she comes up to me, she's like, what the hell is your problem? What, 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 what the hell is your problem with your fat ass, gay ass, stupid looking ass, gap commercial reject looking ass, bitch? And I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> and then she's like, do you think that all black women are scary? Do I look scary to you? Huh? Do I look scary to you? Okay, lady, two things. Um, one, rude. Um, words hurt. You know, the media wants you to believe it's just sticks and stones, but that's not true. And um, two, uh, you're black as night and you're scaring the shit out of me. Thank you, everybody. That's my time.